Hey everybody, Anne here, and I have been having such an awesome day today. I washed my hair, and oh my goodness, it feels so, so good. I've been doing laundry, I'm cooking something tasty, I had a visit from a friend, and oh, I'm working on the second version of my water filter, so yeah, here, let me show you what I've been up to. Laundry time, yep. Oh, and I got another, my uh, second water filter started. I've got the a little bit of charcoal and some gauze down in the bottom. Um, I'll do the rest of that probably tomorrow. I did a ton of laundry. I got my lab coats done, some chemisole, um, you know, thingies. Uh, I got my underwear done. But that's inside. I'm not going to show it to you. <laughs> it's nothing interesting. Um, some, some shorts, some lab pants, huge freaking t-shirt. All of these clothes are like too big on me, but I'm, I'm stoked about that. Good thing they got drawstrings. Um, this tie-dye shirt I made myself, uh, my sleep pants, my fishing drawers, um, and some more. I did all of this by hand in this big tub. It's the same tub I used to take a bath in, <laughs> basically. And yeah, so I mean, I just wring it out, I hang it up, um, and it's super awesome. And now I am making some, my favorite dish, dirty uh, bean, uh, Dirty rice and beans, and check this out, my friend Pat. Thank you, Pat. Oops, there is a ant on here. Brought me a tomato that she grew. Ooh, let me get the bugs off. Um, that she grew in her own garden, and I took a taste of it already, and it is the sweetest, most delicious tomato ever. So I'm gonna chop that up and throw them in my beans. And um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing today, and uh, it's been nice. It's been a really, really nice day. I'm glad I have clean clothes and clean undies. And I did it all on myself, on my own, without having to, you know, have a bunch of electricity. Of course, I need to have the propane to be able to cook. But um, otherwise, this is just stuff that I'm doing at camp, out in the outdoors. And uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to taste these beans. They're going to be delicious. This tomato is the sweetest tomato I think I've ever tasted. All right, guys, so yeah, in a minute here, I'm gonna show you my tattoos. Let's get started with the shoulders. All righty. I got my snakes. Yes, indeedy. They are just two mirror images. They've got the little scales here. I was gonna have the artist eventually, um, you know, put the rest of the snake down my arms, but he died. Um, so yeah, both arms, they kind of wraps around to the back. Yep. And then I've got a lotus flower. Let's see. Standard flash. I wish I had better light. I'm in the shade. Um, with a few added flourishes later on, just to kind of fill in some space. Now this one, <laughs> it is also an opening flower, lotus flower that, um, the artist put a skull in the middle. I mean, that's okay. I had thought about just, you know, getting that part, the skull, covered up. Um, but he was just kind of playing around, having some fun. Okay. This next one is my Celtic, Celtic? Is it Celtic or is it Celtic? <laughs> um, yeah, so he was an apprentice and I let him put that on me. He did an okay job over time. You know, with weight gain, weight loss, skin stretching, it's kind of darkening a little bit. Now, this next one is kind of hard to see. There it is. Okay. Um, that is a lotus with a flame coming out of it, and in the flame is a key. Um, all significant to me. There's a bone going through, through it as well. Um, with flourishes. Kind of hard to see. I know. I should just take some pictures and show them to you. I might just do that. Uh, let's see, over here, I've got just a skull, a lady skull with some roses through it and a halo on top, um, because I'm such an angel. <laughs> and then under that are just some gray shaded, God, there we go, gray shaded roses. They're really pretty nice. They've stayed, they've held the test of time. Um, some of my tattoos have not. This one is kind of blown out, it looks like. Um, my infinity sign. Gray shaded with a, a little bit of color, the green color that I like so much. 
And then, let's see here. Um, yeah, my favorite one is, uh, let's get this in the sun. This one, it's a man and woman embracing. It's really hard to see. I'll try and get a picture of this too. Right? And then I've also got, let's turn this. I need to get the light better. Okay, I've got one on my shoulder back here that kind of commemorates my brother. Um, I don't think you can see it, probably not. He died in 2001 in a car accident. I've got one on my lower belly that I'm not going to show you. It's a calla lily. And the one for my brother is also a calla lily. Um, what else? Oh, oh, and of course, I've got the obligatory tramp stamp on the lower back. Um, I'll try and get a picture of that at some point, too. It is just kind of a flourish of flowers with some, and the flowers like a deep, deep red, and they're really pretty, and with some um, ribbons going through it. And um, you know what? That did too. Whew, I thought it was going to really hurt, but it just felt all oh, like somebody was deeply scratching my back. It felt so good. Um, I had thought about getting a full black piece, but um, my tattoo artist, Johnny Peterson, passed away uh, years ago, which makes me so sad. Um, but anyhow, yeah, those are my tattoos. I hope you like them. Uh, I'll try and get some steel photos of the other ones so that you can kind of see what they look like a little bit better. Or maybe some older photos of them so you can see what they look like when, you know, when they got first put on. So they've changed a little bit over the years with my, you know, arms and, oh, check this out. You know what? You could throw me out of a helicopter and I could fly. <laughs> But you know what? I've been losing weight, and um, you know the flappy arms—they're actually getting better. They are. The skin is starting to tighten up a little bit, so hopefully that will go down if I start working out again um, and uh, doing some curls and some tricep pushbacks. Um, maybe that'll help take up some of the space, and you know it's <laughs> like not there anymore. Um, oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I used to be a competitive bodybuilder. I'll get you some pictures of that eventually too. Anyhow. That's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.